Hey there YouTubers, thanks for tuning back in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we have an interesting uh, lesson. We're going to learn about how to make user form buttons uh, much prettier, much more uh, visually uh, interesting than just a boring gray old button. So this is not a user form button. This is a button that I put on the worksheet. That's not what we're talking about. But this is a shape from the uh, shapes menu here. Uh, that you can play around with. But anyway, what we're going to do, this user form, uh, when you click on the button, it opens up. Let's say we type in my name, if we can type right, uh, and we click this ugly button. Click it, and it'll pop in the name Daniel in range A1 through F10. So you click it, and there it is. So that's what it does. You just hit, hit it, and there's it, it fills that in. So very simple macro. It's a one-liner if you want to see it. Alt F11. When you click on the button it says uh, on sheet 1 A1 through F10 equals whatever's in the the text box which is called TB name. Anyway so that's a very simple um, thing. But our button is ugly. So it's really ugly and uh, in fact we don't need this much space. We can have a very small user form so that it'll look like this whenever it pops up. Okay? So here it is. What we want to do today, we're going to pop in a picture in there. And we want it to take up the entire thing. Now, there's a way to put a picture and put the text next to it. So it would be a little photo here and then the words. Uh, and for that, you want a more a diagonal thing like this. I'm going to talk to you about some of my personal... Uh, some of my personal tips on uh, making buttons uh, much prettier in a user form. And I've gone through quite a bit of trial and error, so hopefully you'll appreciate um, that and you won't have to learn it all on your own. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to resize this uh, down to that size. Here's uh, the first tip. Um, what I found is the file types that, that it allows you to use, it says you can use icon files, which is .ico. It says you can use uh, JPEGs, GIFs. Um, you cannot use PNG files, unfortunately, uh, in, in user forms. Um, so icons, JPEG. Now, icons are pretty picky. I would just steer clear of them because a lot of the modern day icons just don't they're too big and it just it rejects a lot of them for some reason so here's number one tip of the day and this is uh, the thousand dollar tip right here is GIF the uh, GIF files are the absolute best type that you're gonna find uh, why are they better than JPEGs? Well JPEGs for some reason um, it rejects a few of them now and again but not only does it reject them uh, some of them it does not reject. The ones that it accepts will, you'll find that um, they're a little bit more pixelated. When you try to resize them, they just kind of get irritated with you. But with GIF, And with GIFs, which are just wonderful, with GIFs uh, you'll find that um, the background, or number one, it's not so pixelated. It's not really pixelated at all. It looks really smooth. And that's a, the number one reason why it's awesome. But another thing about GIF files is um, they um, any white in the background will actually become uh, transparent. So you'll have this nice smooth image that's got like this, you know, it blends in really well and it, it allows the background color of your button or whatever to be gray if it's gray or whatever instead of having this ugly white spot all over there so let's go ahead and hop right in now what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you for my next tip this is uh, worth its weight in gold also is a couple places to find these GIF files let's say mm, let's say you had something unique uh, what, are, what are, let's see let's look for like a garbage can or something if you're doing something on trash barrels or I know it's weird, but let's go to, um, yeah, here's my notes right here. So, let's see, yeah, images look best when they're GIF, but JPEG will work if you're in a pinch. And the second tip I have on this video is, uh, so we're going to go to images.google.com to, um, to find our first image um, 
and we'll do an advanced search we're gonna look for icon size so I'll open up a new tab right here and we're in Google we're gonna do a search uh, in fact let's go to images.google.com which you can also get there by going to images I guess I don't know how to do that anymore anyway um, here we're gonna type in uh, let's see trash can I'm gonna hit enter so there's lots of options here but the thing is my button is so small right so I want to get um, well in this instance it doesn't have to be a really small image that's the next video um, so but what I do recommend is that we're going to go to more and uh, no excuse me search tools and you can choose any size that you want large medium or whatever uh, larger than or exactly this many pixels I'm going to go to icon which is the smallest group and when you click on icon that's another tip of the day it brings you these uh, relatively smaller images that you can use for your buttons so let's say we wanted a trash can, in it, can image let's pick out one here that looks pretty good um, let's see here well just for fun let's see how this one does it's 128 by 128 so it'll have to shrivel down but let's click on it let's um let's see is this a PNG if it's a PNG it's not gonna work too well let's go back up here trash can let's type dot GIF I typed fig didn't I dot GIF okay we will only want GIF files okay here we go so that narrows it down this one looks pretty good if this is a GIF file that would be wonderful let's see if it is so save image as now it's PNG that's PNG file false alarm what about this oh my goodness Another. <clears throat> So you have to look around a little bit. Whoops. Went to another website there for a second. Oh, I guarantee that's going to be a PNG. Oh, goodness. Hmm. Let's look at this one. Okay. Okay, well, that's a pretty terrible example, I guess. Here's one that's pretty small. Not the most beautiful looking thing. But let's save this image as... That's a JPEG. Let's just take a look at it just for fun. Alright, save. Go back to Excel. Alt F11 will get me here. Now, so we've got our image already selected. We're going to go to picture and we're going to load that picture just to see what it looks like. So we've got to go to the Daniel folder and let's find that one. It's called image down enter. Okay, here it is. So it doesn't look terrible, but I can see you might be able to see there's a little bit of white surrounding it. That comes with the turf when you're using a JPEG. One good thing is if you adjust it, it is going to try to uh, follow you. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's not a, not a terrible button. It's really, I don't know. So my next tip, I guess you may have already read it in my notes, is um, one thing that I think is even better than Google Images because you can specify what you want is if you go to this website and this will be on the um, in my description but it's iconizer.net and I'm really gonna promote this website because um, this this site is amazing so um, you can generate uh, files uh, by uploading to the website or you can do a search so I'm gonna do a search let's say uh, garbage because remember I'm looking for a waste can so let's look this one looks pretty awesome now the thing that's awesome about this website is not only can you customize the file type which is the main thing because we need a GIF file you can also um, change the foreground and background colors if you so choose 
don't know. I really don't want to do that right now, but you can change the hue, saturation, lightness. It's pretty awesome. Um, you can flip it, rotate things. I'm just going to change it to a GIF, and then I'm going to go to download. And this is pretty powerful tool. It's already downloaded. So let's go back to the Visual Basic Editor here. And I'm going to go to the picture thing. I'm going to click on Browse again. And I think I need to go to my Downloads folder. Here we go. Here's garbage.gif. So that'll probably look bigger or better as I zoom it in. It doesn't look terrible. but that's kind of a, a more rectangular image so I would need to so it kind of flows with you so we could make a button about that big it wouldn't hurt anything so but anyway GIF images just look a lot better um, so let's go ahead and run this really quick and then I'll show you um, some more tips in the next video in the series trash boom so there's our beautiful little button our trash button for some reason uh, anyway more uh, more tips to come about making buttons really pretty oh one last thing I do want to say is whenever you have something like that and you don't have any text to tell people hey what they're clicking it's a really good idea to go to the control tip text right here and type something puts text in cells A1 whoopsie A1 through A or through F10 okay so whenever I run this oops whenever I run this now I hover my mouse over there it says this button puts text in cells A1 through F10 so it's a lot more helpful. You have this visual graphic, which doesn't mean anything, because I should have put something more related to that. I'd put a trash can, totally unrelated. But it, but you know, whatever you put there. Hey, what's this button do? Oh, it puts text in A1 through F10. Well, there we go. That makes better sense. So, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching. God bless. Mm -hmm.